In today's video, me and my friends will survive 100 days in Dragonfire. Me and my two friends are going to be surviving in a world full of dragons. And there's there's a lot of dragons, all right? There's, there's a decent amount of dragons. And it's not just dragons, there's new structures, new mobs, and even new dimensions. It's a little bit crazy around here, I can't lie. We're trying to kill the Ender Dragon, as well as gather as many dragons as we can. But first, let me introduce you to today's sponsor. Battle Legion is a mass battle strategy game where you craft armies that can be 100 v 100 boys. That's a lot of men. And you can watch those battles commence. If you've ever played Clash of Clans, it's similar to that, but with some very unique mechanics. And now don't forget the customizable skins and characters, and it's all free. Multiple game modes, including PvP, a bounty hunt. I'm talking clan raid battles. It's all going on, and new game modes are added regularly. And a brand new clan raid update has just released, so there's a big old fat ton of new boss mobs that you can fight. And boys, if you want to see me out on the battlefield, click the link in the description below to play Battle Legion today. Gamers, what are you doing over there? I don't even think... <laughs> That's right, we're not in hardcore, and you know what we're doing today, Dylan? You know what we're doing? You know what we're doing these hundred days? We're gonna tame dragons. We're taming dragons. All right, so it's day one, and what we do is get our first dragon. So this little pouch in our inventory, bam, you open it up, you get a dragon, you get some dragon treats, and you get a dragon orb. And wouldn't you know it, your boy got a light fury. Now, if you're not too familiar, this, this mod's kind of like how to train your dragon. Got some of the dragons from those movies, some original dragons. You don't really need to know those movies to, you know, enjoy the mod. But basically, I got this pink little dragon. But we can't hatch them until we have incubators. And then you'll see Dylan and Robin's dragons as well. So for the rest of day one, all we did was get wood and get tools like we do on every 100 days just to get us started so we don't die. And you may have noticed we're not on hardcore for the first time ever. And we just thought, you know, what, it might be funnier if, if we can die and, you know, come back. There might be some funny stuff. And I may or may not have forgot to set the world to hardcore is the real reason. And on day two, Robin said he found some rainbow dragon den and lured me over there. How do I feed it sand? Stone eater. Dude, don't try shove sand in that poor thing's mouth. Oh, the RGB dragon. Look at it. Oh, fresh. The, <laughs> the, the gamer, gamer dragon. dragon. Oh, RGB weasel. The <laughs> <laughs> oh, ah, ah, kill it. It does oh. a lot of damage. It dropped the uh, a leg. Asa yeah, Pride so... in the comments. Don't mind if I just Ace nick this kid's egg though. To be fair, the RGB gay gaming egg. Let's Dude, go. Your boy's already got two eggs, man. Now I'm not sure what this dragon is, but uh, it seems like some kind of pride dragon. Uh, I'm not really sure, but we uh, robbed his egg. We stole his child. Do you think they get mad that we've just like taken their like? child you snooze you lose that's what i said they leave that pram there for five minutes <laughs> you snooze you lose oh he's i think i think he's pissed off never mind he's just nah. drifting he's just drifting ah are you sure he's not mad i think he's mad i think he's mad he's, he's spewing angry. pride at me oh, you snooze you lose i have your child <laughs> Pay the ransom or you won't get him back! And now we retreat into the caves. And so after this traumatic experience, I fled to the mines so I could start gathering a few more resources. And from days three to six, I was in the caves, boys. I was spelunking, all right? I once spunkin, I was spelunkin. There's a big difference. Ask your grandma about it. <laughs> She'd know. Sorry, guys, I'm just chowing down on an apple. But in the mines we found bones that's right fossils skeletons of old dead dragons and to be honest i'm not exactly sure what they do at this point but i do collect up plenty of bones anyway and of course i get some iron and your boy's got the luck of the gods so he gets some diamonds baby all right so we had to get some mining out of the way before we could start doing any dragon stuff all right all right so you know, just bear with it for a second. The dragons are coming, boys. The dragons are coming. And of course, we need a little base of operations first. So day 7 to 11, we make our first house. You know, a little starting base, as we always do. Nothing special. Didn't really know how to make it dragon-themed. You know, I like to theme the builds, but I, I don't know. What, what do dra dragons don't have houses, dude. 
Like, what, my, what do you want from me? But we just made this very simple starter house. Simple materials, boys. Simple materials. Decided to build in the plains because it's just easier to, you know, make the land up. And all these big dragons, they're going to need a lot of space. And if we're in a forest, dude, they might start, like, I don't know, smacking their knobs on the trees or something. I'm not sure. Oh, so now you're thinking about dragon PP, huh? You're sick. You're sick and twisted, Kane's Ace. Yeah, well, still thinking about less PP than your mother, mate, all right? So let's calm it down a bit. Well, it's day 12. If you managed to keep watching the video, I'm proud of you. And we build a little sheep dungeon. Now, I thought I'd build this in the side of the cliff. So we could shove a couple sheep in there because we need meat we need wool i realized later that to make those dragon traits that level up your dragons we actually need cows so i was a bit dumb to make a sheep pen but don't worry because the cows will come later and you'll see what these dragon traits do and why they're so valuable on day 13 the pride dragon attacked yes that is right he's come for us he was mad that we stole the child and he's 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 on a mission and it was traumatic He's getting a little close and personal, isn't he? He's... Look at that movement. Look at, little... Look at that. Look at that little oomph, 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 oomph. <laughs> Look at that. Goofy. He's trying to get in the house. He's I looking to steal like your children. Thing. Do you know what we do to to dragons trying to break into my house? I think we show them what we do. We show them what we do. Shut up. This is what you get. This is what you get. This is what you get. Hey, hey, back off, quick man. Hey, I gotta be honest, that's kind of all that happened on day 13. We didn't really get up to much. There was just those traumatic events. But not to worry, boys and girls, because on day 14, I made a little bit of armor, just a bit of iron, nothing wild, nothing crazy, nothing bombastic, okay? But I made a diamond pickaxe. And why would I do such a thing? Why would I do that? You're probably thinking, oh, well, you know, enchantment table, oh, oh, oh never put, no, you're wrong. You're silly. You're a numbskull. You're comical. It's for the fire incubator. I think it's fire. It's the incubator that's not the ice one. You would assume fire. Because to make this, you need obsidian and a bucket of lava. And here you can see me make our first incubator. Now, we don't use it just yet because we want to build a little area. But before that, on day 15, we build a little wheat farm just by this puddle of water. Because we need some wheat. We need to survive. You know, it's not hardcore. But dying brutally is not really on my agenda. And, you know, starving to death is, is not good no matter what. Alright? So we need we, we want a little bit of bread. Get your bread game up, boys. Get your wheat game up, dude. Get your yeast infection game up. Huh? How about that? They don't say that too often. And day 16 to 19, we build the Dragon Incubator Tower. Now, this is just a small area that we want to put our Dragon Incubator in. Because I didn't just want to dump it in the house or outside, you know, you've got to build a little area for these things. And now we built it out of stone because it's meant to be a fiery dragon place. And there's not really a lot of blocks that look fiery, you know, like what am I meant to build out of? Lava? No, that'd be ridiculous. So we built this out of stone. It's no huge tower. It's decently sized. Me and Robin, absolute master builders. Not one of our finest builds, but it's, it's, it's alright. You know, I've seen worse. I've, I've seen worse. Can we agree? Can we agree that we've seen worse? Alright, okay. And with that, our first incubator and tower for the incubator is complete. Looks quite nice down here. You walk in there, seems like you're ready to brew up a dragon, dude. And so on day 20, that's exactly what we did. We incubated our first dragon. Now, my dragon needs an ice incubator, and I'll get to that later why I don't have that now. But Robin's is on the fire incubator, so he got to have the first dragon produced. That's right, made in Taiwan, dude. Manufactured, crafted, sorted, and shipped. Robin's first dragon was born. It's so close. It's unbelievable how close it is right now. Oh! I think it, like a hod's come up and he has to like name it and then it spawns in once he's done. Oh! What is that little gremlin? It looks like the ghost from Ghostbusters, dude. Is he trying creeping. to drown himself? Preferred what? food. He eats rocks! Come I don't have any rocks! Dude, he's distraught Wait, right now. we have the dude, chest. Dude, he's <laughs> distraught right now. Oh, chuck your balls at him, Robin. Oh! Oh! We've got our first dragon. <laughs> I gotta say, I love Lil Queefin. Can we, can we say it, dude? I love Lil Queefin. And on day 21, I got the stuff for an enchanting table. 
Now, why on earth would I be doing that? Well, sit down because I got an explanation for you. To make the ice incubator, which I need to get my dragon, you need ice surrounding a bucket of water. Now, how do you get ice? The only way I know of, tell me if I'm wrong, is to have silk touch. And so I need an enchantment table and some bookshelves to get silk touch. So I got the stuff to make an enchantment table, you know, the sugar cane, the leather, and I got the books. And so I banged in a bunch of pickaxes, slapped them all in there, and finally I saw silk touch. But it costed 20 levels, so your boy had to get big. So day 23 to 25, I was on a bit of a mission. So what I thought I'd do is go down, get some obsidian for a nether portal. Now, we're not going to do any nether adventuring right now, but I make this nether portal so I can go to the nether and mine quartz. Because it's one of the quickest ways to get XP, and I need to get to level 20. Next, I entered the portal, went into the nether, and started hunting for quartz. Because your man's your boy, your homie Kane, is trying to get his XP up get his levels up so that I can get silk touch for the ice incubator. So I queef all over this quartz, dig it all up, get all this XP, evacuate out of the nether, and bam, your boy's got the 20 XP levels, so I get my silk touch. And on day 26, I go get the ice I need for the ice incubator. There's just like this ice place over here, which happens to have a cheeky little egg in it. So of course I take that as well. And this egg is cracked, dude. This is for, like, one of the biggest dragons. But you'll see it when it's hatched. So don't even worry about it. And then on day 26, we make the ice incubator. Just for the time being, I put the ice incubator on the second floor of the fire incubator tower. Later on, we'll make the ice incubator tower. But for now, we'll just chuck it on the second floor. And we started to incubate our babies, dude. Our little munchkins. Our Furry, they're not furry. Our scaly little gremlins. See what's going to be called, cool, Dylan? Big squirtin'. I'm going to call mine medium chubbin. All right. Medium chubbin. Oh, he's going Yo. right. Hey, is he trying to eat? Whoa. Hey, at least medium take her out on a dinner first. Christ. <laughs> um, this guy's quite bored. What a small little dragon. Don't chuck your... <laughs> Hey, hey! Time to have some yummy little treats. She's bigging up very slowly, admittedly. Level six. Oh my oh. god. Why is a little queefing, a big squirting, so much bigger than medium chubbin? No one looks like a f***ing gerbil. She's meant to be small. <laughs> like a little f***ing mouse. Looks like, it looks like Bingus, dude. Mine looks like Bingus. His anal gaseous could literally wipe out an entire species of toddler. Got medium chubbin, big squirting, and of course, not to forget... What's his name? Lil Queefin. Lil Queefin. Not to forget Lil Queefin or his name. And on day 27, two more dragons were hatched. Medium chubbin and big squirting have came into the world. And boy, oh boy, am I glad to see them. They may... They really just make my day. I have, to, I have to be honest. And as well as that, we just make a small little pen to keep the dragons in for now. Because for some reason, we didn't want to put them in the dragon orbs. We start to do that later on. But for now, we just chuck them in this pen so they can all live, you know, happily ever after. And not, I don't know, get murdered by another dragon. And after that entire hassle that was getting the ice incubator, I don't know why the recipe needs that. Because, like, my starter dragon... Is, is just like, why did it take that long to get? I don't understand. But you know what? It doesn't matter because day 28 to 34, we're off to go places. We're off to see the sites. We're looking for a couple of dragon eggs and just a couple of structures. And I'm going to do the usual and run the clips. But if you're new around here, what I like to do when we kind of go out and explore is just run a load of clips and show you what we found instead of me talking over most of it because yeah, I can't really add much to what, uh, you know, me in the past is already saying. But uh, we find dragon eggs, we find biomes, a couple of structures, and it's an all round pretty wicked time. Oh, he's one ugly prick. This tree yeah. is alive right here. <laughs> oh, where's my backup? Where's my team right now? You left us. I'm, I'm left 1v1-ing us. big Trigus. Oh, oh, that's right, I f***ed him up. 
All he dropped was a single piece of water. Yeah. Bloody! Oh my god! And there's there's jellyfish. He no, he's me up. He's he's me up. I'm getting fucked. I'm getting ruined. He's got reach or something. Why does he make that sound? Like ice and fire. Oh my god! Somebody died, dude. This is serious. This is no laughing matter, Dylan. This is this is. The Fire Nation map part. Oh. Find out about the Fire Nation. I would, mate. Is it when they came and when the Fire Nation attacked? Did they do we need Do we need the way. last Airbender or something, mate? No, nah, no. Nah, it's, it's it's a map for the Fire Nation. Also, I'm pretty sure this is an egg right here. This is a big tent. bloody lad, isn't it? Be a shame if someone started stabbing him. Right in the face. Yeah, well, I'm level 200, my friend. And he's literally fat and useless, like Robin's entire family. Ah, we've made it oh, to an heaven. Egg oh, okay, no, he's not hostile. <laughs> Christ. There is an egg here, my friend. Oh, my God, caught in the water. Where? Oh. Can we take this? Or will it, like, get annoyed at us? Uh, f*** what it thinks, mate. That's my child now. So did you just steal the baby and kill his parent? Yes. Oh, that's a bit of backstory right there. After that adventure, it was day 35 to 37 that we built an ice incubator tower. We just thought we'd do a quick build so we didn't have to keep it up in the shambles of the second floor of the fire one. So we put this icy looking room. It, it didn't really, it doesn't really look like the other tower, nor does it look like a tower, but it has ice and it has incubators of ice. So, you know, it's an incubator room that looks icy, one could argue. So, um, <laughs> high fives all around, I guess. But don't even worry about that, because on day 38, we cleared some land for a huge barn. Yeah, that's right, the entire day we were clearing land for the structure. Because we plan to build a gigantic barn, which we're gonna cram full of cows. Because we wanna level up our dragons, and to do that, you need genuine stacks upon stacks of meat. I think to make a stack of dragon treats, right? And that won't even get you to level 100. That will get you to level 65, okay? To make a stack, you need eight stacks of raw beef and a stack of bones. Now, the bones aren't too difficult to get because, you know, I got a looting sword. There's three of us. We've been killing a bunch of skeletons. That's not too bad. But all that meat, that's a lot of cows. And so day 39 to 45, we build the barn. Now, this barn isn't all that flashy, not all that amazing and special. It's just basically going to be one big cow pen so they can all be crammed in there and we just interbreed them dude the ethics on this thing it's gonna be brutal it's it's you're gonna have to call you're gonna have to call someone dude peter better get in here and sort me out man because i am on a rampage we build the perimeter around the barn this is how big it's probably gonna look and then we just start to build up the walls slowly nothing fancy on the roof just a simple barn roof with these big walls and the interior is not going to be much either you can see in here the interior is just going to be the grass we put a couple of fences around a little bit of water over here so you know the cow's got to drink we're not that inhumane and of course a piece of resistance right in the middle of the barn we can't go a single video about what i swear to God, you know some bits people are just going to start getting the wrong idea ah it's funny whatever and then I go fetch some pretty little cows, some fluffy, not fluffy cows. I just go get some cows, all right? I just get some cows, and I put them in the barn, and they start shagging. And with that, we have a completed barn full of a couple of cows. And over the, the next course of the rest of the video, we're just all the time breeding these cows and slaughtering them. Day 46 to 49, we're going to the nether, but properly this time. So we head in the nether, and the first thing we find is this little encampment of the Fire Nation in the nether. Now this is just a couple little of the guards, there's a few pigmen chilling out, hanging out, smoking some doobies maybe, I don't know what's going down. And if you kill these guards, you get dungeon keys, specifically Fire Nation dungeon keys. And then, you take these keys, right click on a dungeon door, and you end up getting teleported to a dungeon. So we'll do that later on, but for now, we just took out the little encampment, got some keys. This isn't 1.16, so it's the old nether, so we just went to a fortress, took out a couple of blazes to get the blaze rods to let it go to the end, bit of loot from the chest, 
And that was honestly the whole Never experience. Not very much. Not a lot exciting I can tell you about. Your boy's got the powder now. All our dragons are here and they're ready to fight some blazes. They're all bloody asleep. Wake the f*** up, samurai. We've got a city to burn. Get the f*** out of here. And you. No. Oh. oh my god. No. Ah. Ah. Hey. What? What? What is wrong with you? Day 50 to 55, we go on a hunt for exclusively just dragon eggs. We literally just want loads of dragon eggs. And uh, they're a little rarer than I thought, but also a lot more common as well. So we start going out and these things are just cropping up everywhere. Me and Dylan are just finding all sorts of different dragon eggs and they're not even too far apart. There's ones on the floor, ones underground, ones in the sky. It's all going on, dude. There's so many eggs. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody! He dropped a present! Oh, there's a penguin over here we can adore. Oh, Hello, what, Mr. what penguin. a cute penguin! Oh. Can have on. it! Oh, wait, some of it's gonna go our way. Nah. Oh, wait, no, we're safe, we're safe. Merry oh Christmas! God, this teddy bear. Would you like this teddy? Oh. And on day 56, we made some of these dragons, we incubated them, and made them real. That's right, kids, your dreams are coming true, there's more dragons. Because we thought we've kind of been neglecting the dragons a little bit. Because we've only got three, and this mod is all about loads of dragons. So we incubated all these dragons, and here we have some beautiful little lads now. Oh, Nipple Twist has been spawned. Day 57 to 60, we made separate dragon pens because we didn't want to keep them in that one area. We built like a sort of uh, prison. Yeah, that's the word. Prison for all the dragons. For now, there's only four rooms for the prison, even though Robin's dragon uh, also has to go in one. But we might add that later on. But as you'll see uh, later in the video, things start to uh, not go so well. But on day 61, the day of reckoning has come, boys. Finally, finally, I get what I want. And what I want is to murder cows, dude. It is time. The time has come to vanquish all cows. There shan't be a single one left standing, and I will make sure of it. Now, the reason why I'm brutally murdering all these cows, and luckily I've got looting too, is because we need a ridiculous amount of raw beef. Like I was saying earlier, to make the dragon treat so I can level my dragon up, so I can fly my dragon, you need a lot of raw beef. And so, what we had to do was absolutely murk every last one of these cows. Destroyed. Absolutely walloped and wallied, all right? These cows had a bad day when Kane's Ace arrived. And so from this, I got a couple stacks, but simply not enough. My calculations were off. I only managed to get like 24, 20 summing dragon treats, which is only going to get my dragon to level uh, 30, maybe 40. And boys, that is simply not enough. I want a level 100 dragon, and I will not stop until I do so. So day 62 to 68, all I do is breed, breed, and breed. Now that's what I do on a normal set of days, but I'm talking about cows. I know how that sounds, but I'm not breeding with the cows. I'm breeding them. Though they do look submissive, I'm not breeding them. However, when I say we spent all these days breeding cows, I mean we spent all these days breeding cows. Yeah, there's a lot of cows, isn't there? And they all gotta go. So it's time to kill more cows. They're all gone. They're leaving. You can see hope flashing from their eyes, dude. After killing all these cows, I end up with about nine stacks and a bit on top of raw beef. And this is only enough to get me a stack of dragon treats, which is insane, which is absolutely insane. We do have a stack of bones, you know, because we've just been killing skeletons the whole time. So at least that's going for us. But, uh, yeah, you know, it's still ridiculous that this is not even enough to get one dragon to level 100. But medium chubbin does get all the way up to level 94, I think. So we're very close to level 100, and now medium chubbin is rideable. And you can catch me uh, doing a little, little ride on her. They're very difficult to control. I get a little better at it, but I didn't really understand it at first. Like, I kept uh, falling the f off. 
And day 69 to 72, it's back to a little bit of vanilla activity. We're out in the wild trying to get ender pearls so that we can go to the end. So me and Dilla go on the prowl for a couple of days, finding some enderman. The looting too is coming in clutch. You know, so most of the time we do get some drops. But you know, there's just all these endermen. But faster than you can say my nan's having a stroke, we do get enough ender pearls to get to the end and make some eyes of ender. But just before we do that on day 73, I upgrade our incubators. Now, why would I do that, I hear you ask? Well, one, some eggs like the bewilder beast that i got they take tier three ice incubators and before we only had tier one pretty simple to upgrade them as you can see it's just iron and then it's this stuff which is iron with lapis and then it's gold so i actually get all the way up to tier four now the higher tiers also mean lower tier dragons will incubate faster which is good because it takes quite a long time and so now with these nutty incubators we hatch a few more dragons, such as my bewildered beast, and Dylan gets a new dragon, as well as Robin gets a new one as well, because I also upgraded the fire incubator, which is the same process. Bam! Dick my ass! <laughs> <laughs> oh, aren't you one ugly prick? Yes, you are. Dicks, Dicks on nuts. nuts. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Look at him, he's on the hunt already. Yeah, this guy looks like a predator right Oh, he does Apex look predator. like a guy who likes dicks on nuts. Oh, he's f***ing, he's f***ing angry. From day 75 to 80, we head to the end. Now, we bring our dragons to the end, because in my head, I was like, wow, we could have a really intense dragon on dragon fight. Uh, it doesn't, well, it's not quite that simple, sadly. Um, the dragons are a little difficult to fly and even more difficult to aim where you want to shoot projectiles So in order to blow up the crystals, we got to hit them with the projectiles and that's quite difficult uh, And so in the end we just <laughs> We just end up doing it mostly on foot, but uh, you know enjoy some clips Why am I just descending? How do I go up? I'm doing my best Oh, I just shot the dragon! Let's go! Okay, yeah, that's plenty of these dragons. Did you actually hit one? Yeah, somehow. Well done, mate, because I don't know how on earth you'd be able to aim that normally. While the ground is oh, here. No! Medium chopping! How's it going over there, Kane? Fing <laughs> shit, mate, I'm just gonna come play it normally. Uh, Can you. Piss off, you big wally! Mess him up! Medium queefing! Mess medium him chubbin. up, medium chubbing! I Fat got fire, anything to say? Oh! I did it! I had to go point ah! blank and then use the move. Christ. It's a shame my dragon is uh, too dead to see this. Too incapacitated to see the action. And so... One final attack takes out the ender dragon. At least we killed him with a dragon, all right? At least we killed the dragon with the dragon. So there goes the dragon, dead, dead to us. Gone, S deceased, vanished. We have become triumphant. So we gather up the XP, gather up the dragon egg and head to the end city. We find an end city and I fly up on my dragon loot a couple of chests because my armor's not really the best so i can actually use some of this diamond stuff like i got some uh a curse of binding mending prop for leggings so these ain't coming off so y you damn well know i'm wearing these to the bitter end i get a couple of other things and then i head to the ship now of course i have dragons so i can fly and glide but i might as well get the elytra just for the and giggles just for the funnies, the ha-has, the lols, the lamals, the ruffles, you know? And with that, we defeated the Ender Dragon, but we are not done yet. Day 81 to 85, we went hunting for the remaining dragons. Now, we're not going to get every single dragon. There's just not enough time. And we definitely won't be able to level all of them up very far. But we go hunting for some more dragons. And there's some interesting ones. I mean, look at this. Look at this. 
they're all over the place. And we're sort of going for about five dragons each. And don't even worry, we're going to hatch them in a second. But uh, I only need one more. And I'm sure you can guess which one I wanted. Big crab! <laughs> oh. I was expecting more of an epic battle. Yeah, I thought he was going to be a bit more powerful. <laughs> but that is a swanky egg. Oh, it's two and Kamoon! And he's going to hell! Dude, there's nothing to gain from us. Yo, look at the gold blocks. Gold blocks. Yeah. Me when the Mondays. Oh. It's an Aztec egg. We all did. Oh, wait, with a skull? Oh. Oh, oh, you lucky you dodged that one. Oh, oh, I land some hits. Now, this is a dragon bow right here. Oh, domed yeah. that bit. Ooh. I think she's dead, yeah? Did she's we get dead. it? Yeah, they died. They yeah. don't, they Ooh. don't. Dude, that thing looks... Turn it into an omelette. Of course, I had to get a Night Fury egg, you know, just to complete my set of five dragons. But, uh, he, uh, if things go bad for that Night Fury later on. Then when we get back, we incubate every single egg and we're just on an absolute spree of incubating eggs, naming the dragons. So here you can just see us naming, like, loads of dragons. Boop. Phil McCracken. Phil McCracken. Uh, yeah. Oh, he's on the run. Like they always are. Young Phil, welcome to the world. Boom. Dick Yo. hurts. Dick hurts. Yo, you looking kind of cool. Bro, he be looking like his dick hurts, dude. <laughs> he be looking like it, man. I need to dick in me. Yeah. I need to dick in me. <laughs> what the yeah. Hell? That's, that's her, right there. Let's welcome to the world, Buster Hyman. Dude, not Buster Hyman. Anything but that. Raven Moorhead. Oh, Cra well, this is one big fat dragon at level one. And he's Craven Moorhead. <laughs> he is. Yeah. I can tell those eyes, mate. They're bloody, uh, they're ravid. Erection. Right Erection. Yeah. Wow. Eat some food, mate. Young you Sean. She died farted. Here we go. What a uh, he's ugly. He's, he's got fucking herpes. <laughs> 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 no wonder that she died farted. He looks like it, dude. <laughs> she died she <I> farted. <laughs> yeah, put that he's one. Coming out. Put that one in the orb. All right, are you ready for the Night Fury egg, Robin? Are you ready? No, I'm not actually. Wait. Oh, I don't care. Bam! Yo Phil McCock. Phil McCock. So fond of cocks. <laughs> Phil McCock and so fond of cocks. Oh, get along. Just, just, just right. After gathering all those dragons from day 86 to 90, we had to start leveling to the extreme. Now, you've seen me do this process, man, and there's other content I want to get onto, so I'm just going to gloss over it. It's just that process of breeding cows, killing cows, breeding cows. But you can see us here absolutely murking the cows. And we basically just get all our other dragons up to around level 25. And, and yeah, some of them get a little bit big. They get a little arch, a little obtuse. And after all that leveling, our dragons were a bit bigger, a bit ready for battle. You couldn't ride most of them yet because they were too small. But, uh, you know, you know, they're here. They're existing. Day 91 to 93. We've been gathering fire dungeon keys, all right, this entire time. When we went to the Never earlier and we killed those men, we got some Fire Nation dungeon keys. And so I gather a few more keys because everyone needs one. And we then head to the Never where you can find Fire Nation dungeon doors. You right click these doors with the key and you're in the Fire Nation dungeon. And uh, it, it was a little nuts in there. T take a look, there was a lot of flames. Oh, and let's so enter the gates. Oh, Christ's sake. I need immediate backup. He's bloody lit the place on fire. It's all gonna burn down. Oh, I am in solo health. This guy got f it's real, uh, real rough. <laughs> oh, oh, one boat, and he's dead. And he dropped a heavy dorky. To be honest, that that, that was all that the dungeons had to offer. A couple of enemies, some chests with bad loot, and like a random dragon that I murdered.
Then from day 94 to 97, we wanted to go to the Fire Nation dimension. That's right, they got a dimension, and I didn't actually know about this, and that's why it's so late in the video, but... If you stuck around this long, then you get to see that. Now, to get there, we have to craft this map, which takes three Fire Nation map pieces. We got one earlier in the video, so we just had to get two more for myself, and then everyone else also needs their own map to get there. So we go to these little Fire Nation dens that are just spread throughout the world, suck up the piece of map in each one of them, and craft ourselves a Fire Nation map, and travel to the Fire Nation. Now the Fire Nation dimension is, is, it looks how it sounds, there's a lot of flames, a lot of red, a lot of redness, and burning, and pain, and misery. But we did go in a few structures and get some loot that was really not worth it at all. But uh, we, you know, we don't know this mod, so let me know in the comments if there's something crazy you can get from this Fire Nation dimension. Oh! Oh my god. They've got three heads! Each. Mate, Robin, Each. your dragon is actually doing more damage to me than the boss. Well, for some berries? Did all that for hey. some berries? No. I mean, he did just get dusted up, though, to be fair. Knock this prick off the edge! All that. That's all there is. Fruit and berries and fire resistance potions. All right, well... <laughs> We've basically already seen everything that it has to offer, I think. Day 98 to day 99, we go to the Darklands, and all you do to get there is right-click on this thing called an obelisk, which we found in the Acacia biome. Let's go! Oh! Well, I just shit pants, I can't lie. Now, this place is like the spooky Halloween dimension, dude. There's, like, werewolves, there's, like, dogs, there's, there's like, graveyards. It's all going on in this place, and it's a bit dark and spooky. But I'll just run some clips of a couple of things we found there. It wasn't too crazy eventful, but we did we did some funky stuff. Oh, somebody just living their life in a house. Time to kill them. Guys, it was really spooky down there. Don't go down there. They're guarding an egg. Haha. -ha. The zombie egg. We later found that there's a lichen dungeon, and so to get the lichen dungeon keys, it's just a rare drop from killing the wolves, and so we get a couple of tier 3 dungeon keys and enter a tier 3 lichen dungeon. 3, 2, oh, 1, let's jam! <laughs> Hello my friend, please park all your way over. Oh, you're mad, you're mad, <laughs> troll in a bit. If I die, I might actually die. Oh, that's a big lad. That is a very big lad with a big snoot. And he's hench. Oh, he's dead now. Oh! There's bones! Oh, that was the entire dungeon. We then left that dungeon, got tier 3 dungeon keys, came back, and went in a tier 3 dungeon. So this is a better version of what we just went in. Dust him up, lads. Dust him up. He thinks he's big and strong. He thinks he's big and strong. Through the door. Another big fat man is through the door. There's three big fat men in this room. One each. Oh, okay. Well, if I don't uh, die. Sounds a bit strange. <laughs> Take one man each. We then enter the final room of the dungeon, and there's not really a lot to gain, but I kill this dragon and take whatever was in the chest. Lichen egg. Sick. I'm pretty sure you can get the lichen armor, but we haven't gotten that. Maybe if we do a 200 days and this video does really well, we will do that. And boys, that brings us to day 100 where we decided to murder all the cows with our dragons. These cows have been nothing but good to us the entire time, but it's time they go. It's nothing personal. It's just business. It's just cows. Fellas, these dragons have caused us enough harm. By that, I meant cows. Fuck. Kill the cows! Just kill them! Kill them all! This is what yeah, you get, baby. you dirty f Oh! Oh, 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 god, I'm dying as well! I'm dying as well! <laughs> oh, my dragon's dying! Oh! You, you killed my dragon. <laughs> f these dragons, dude. F these dragons. I hit every last one of these ugly b****. Well, how do you think the video went? I think we did... Uh, we did absolutely spiffing. True, we did do spiffing. I mean, yeah. I, I'd be a little happier if uh, Dixon Nuts was here with me right now to, you know, really 
Remember the days we've gone through, bro. Well, we got what you was know. coming to him, and uh, you know what it is, boys. Like, subscribe, take a good look at this big fan, Jimmy Wangler. And boys, with that, we've come to the end of the video, man. I appreciate you watching, subscribing, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one, and please have yourselves a damn good one. I'll always remember Craven Moorhead. Craven Moorhead.